my brother came to pick the bike up. There was a little bit of coolant on the floor. We found it was coming from the weep hole, the water pump. So I spent a week waiting for parts, got a water pump in that. I'm going to get this guy off the stand tonight to kind of prep for a three day weekend of engine swap goodness where I can catch up a bit, but wanted to show a little trick for people that, uh, I think a center punch is only for punching your center. Yeah. And you get a broken off, rusty, nasty exhaust bolt and it's stuck in your socket. You just put it in the middle and it'll shoot it right out the bottom. No problem. Why? Just why? I can't just be nice. The first day I want to get a bunch of work done. Well, I didn't do anything. I'm going to do a little bit tonight. I kind of came to the realization that if I want the 16 valve out of the car on the stand, then I need to take it out with the hoist first. So the plan of action tonight is to get some, some fluid for the parts washer, uh, fill up all the other gas cans just because it's cheap and why not. And then we will put that, that engine ready to go. That one's going to go in the trunk of the black car. So we'll air its tires up, get it backed up here, get the engine loaded in the trunk. And then we can set it back in its spot, get a battery in the, in the 1990 and see what the engine sounds like, if it'll even start. Uh, if it won't start, I'll have to push it up here closer to the garage and get working on pulling that engine out. And then hopefully my brother can come get his motorcycle this weekend. Because even though it's 35 and snowing, it's going to be 52, 55 on Saturday and Sunday. So it'll all go away. Uh, a little less miserable. We'll get a lot more hours in. But we'll get a short video out tonight just to kind of see how things are getting prepped. And then we'll go ham on Saturday and Sunday. All right, got some air in the tires, batteries in, and it's still unlocked. It's good, good, good. Look at some of the crap that's inside. This is going to be the home for that engine we're scrapping. So, oh, yeah, we got some stuff. Got some stuff. I'll have to clear that out. I'm sure it's still good. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about really any of this stuff. <sighs> yep. So I don't really think there's anything left to take out of this. So maybe some trash. We'll take care of that. We'll get it all cleared out. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seems fine to me. Catch on fire. You oh, oh. So I realized that the engine's not going to fit in the trunk very well without the spare tire out of the way, and that reminded me that I wanted to remove the trailer hitch. Like, no guy with a Mark IV. Maybe I'll just give it to him for his birthday or something. I don't know if he wants to tow or not, but uh, either that, or I'll just I'll find it at home. I'm sure there's no reason to. To let that go to waste they're not super cheap uh, but let's try one-handed oh we got we got whoops <laughs> this is fun Cool. Don't let your dog get out of my house. Um, maybe I'll just slide in. Look at that. 
like it was meant to be there. Oh yeah. Good. Yep, totally normal Volkswagen stuff. Oh. Well, we got the battery in. Uh, didn't start when we picked it up, but we weren't able to tighten the terminals down. So I'm pretty sure that's why it didn't crank over. I don't know if it'll start now or not. He said the head gasket was blown. It may be worse, but it's going in the Jetta to go to scrap anyway. So we might as well start it up and see what it sounds like. If it, if it starts, that is. Check it out. Fucking blaze it. There we go. Oh, that just completely was like, hell no. I think the fuse boopied or something. Hmm. And this is a bit of a mess. I mean, this isn't even tight, so I don't know if. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully it doesn't catch on fire. We'll give it one more try. Well, I tightened things up. The lights came back on. So, yeah. I, just, I just don't know. Just don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. This thing. Oh, I wonder if it's seized. I mean, he did say he sold it to me because I was going to do a swap. And he turned down other people that wanted to come and get it. Uh, whether that's completely true or not, I don't know. But maybe he knew because I'm taking the engine out. It doesn't matter what's wrong with this one. He doesn't have to worry about lying about it or anything like that. Uh, yeah, we'll see if we can push it up here. We'll pull that thing out and we'll take it apart anyway. Uh, as long as I can get the car up here to the garage tonight then we can rip into it tomorrow get that engine out of there and be well on our way ah it doesn't even look that steep i feel so fat pushing a stupid car rusty ass brakes oh well it's there the goal for the night is accomplished and tomorrow this will disappear one way or another <laughs>